Hey, what is up everyone? Coach Danny here. We're here in the Experience Garage Gym. All right, so today I'm going to be talking about the basic fundamentals of a great boxing stand. So check it out. All right, guys. So when we're looking at the boxing stance for beginners, we always want to make sure that you have something where you're grounded, where you're solid and you're in balance. All right, let me repeat this one more time. You want to have a stance that keeps you grounded, solid, and balanced at all times. All right, that's super important. That's the most important fundamental tactic you should have that balance for all of your striking techniques. Now, you don't want to be bouncing around and using advanced shuffling footworks left and right side. Keep that for later on when you're more advanced, right? So, when you're starting out, you want to have a proper foundation. Think of it as a house. You want to build a slab of concrete first. And that remains immobile, right? That's something that's super solid. Now, eventually, you're going to start to build up until the roof and then you finish the interior. And if ever one day you renovate, you're going to be using the interior to renovate, but the solid concrete always remains the same. Same thing with your boxing stance. Eventually, the renovations are going to be you adding your own style, adding your own flair. That means shifting your weight into footwork strategies as well as how you move your head and your hands. But at first, the basic foundation of your feet positioning has to remain in proper place at all times. Now, let's start with that. I'm going to talk about how we position our feet. So, of course, to have good balance, I can't be standing too narrow like this, right? So, if someone was to the side and just shove me onto my shoulder, of course, I'm going to lose balance. So, this is not a correct stance. And in contrast, I don't want to have my feet in this position now because now, although I feel solid, I have no facility to move front to back. So if I need to move forward, I have to take some small steps. And if I need to retreat, it's going to force me to jump out of there. And that's not the proper way to move with your footwork. Now, I also want to make sure that if I'm facing you guys towards the camera now, that my feet are not placed square like this. Okay, now I have zero balance from left to right. I can't punch effectively. Look at my targets. My face is fully exposed. My body is exposed here for boxing. And if I turn completely to the side in the opposite, now, although I'm hiding those targets, now I have nothing for the right hand. See, I'm facing this way, but you guys are going to be there. So, the proper feet positioning is going to be as such. I like to sometimes teach the toe heel alignment to some fighters at my gym. So what that simply means is imagine there's a straight line onto the ground and I'm going to have the lead foot's big toe on that line and the rear foot's heel on that same line. So that's going to be the toe heel alignment and for boxing, straight up boxing, I'm not talking about mixed martial arts or Muay Thai. Sometimes I like to turn the foot inwards. Other times I like to keep it just like my normal stance where the lead foot is always pointing towards my opponent. But if I know that I'm just boxing, I'm be pointing my lead foot at a 30 degree inward position like this. All right. So my back foot is going to be on an angle as well on a 45. And I like to keep my heel slightly off the ground. So that way that I can start to shift forward and back. We'll talk about footwork in a future video. But for now, that's going to be the proper positioning of your feet where it's going to bring me up into my knees this time. Now the knees, you don't want to have something where you're squatting low like this and you don't want something where you're super straight and your legs are locked in this position. You want something where you're bouncy that way there if you start to move, shift around using your defensive head movement. Now your legs are going to be helping you do those defenses. Now the hips, all right, from the side here, a lot of people when they first start out, they'll stick their butt out like this, all right? So they will start moving and boxing from this position. And this is a really awkward position because I have no techniques from here. So I want to keep my hips locked in. My legs and feet are in a good position. And that way there, that will relax my back. Now, talking about the back muscles, a lot of people as well, when they start out, they tense their shoulders and back muscles. So from the back, they bring the shoulders back like this and they're squeezing their traps together. And that makes you very tired very fast. So you want to always relax the back muscles. This will relax your shoulders because the shoulder relaxation is another key point of a good boxing stance because that will enable you to add more speed into your striking techniques. Now, the hand positioning is going to be in front of your chin. And let's talk about that chin for a moment. I always recommend, I'm a big advocate of keeping your chin down. Now, chin down doesn't mean leaning forward as such. All right, by leaning forward, that means every time I start to punch, my head is in front of my shoulder. I want to always remind myself that when I'm boxing, my shoulders are leading the way and my chin is hiding behind those shoulders, all right, and arms. So 
That brings me to don't lean in forward like this. Always keep your shoulders relaxed, but keep your chin down and your eyes in front of your opponent. Now, the hands, the rear hand, in my case, I'm right-handed, so the rear hand, the right hand, is going to be right here at my cheek. All right, the elbow's pointing down. I don't want my glove too high like this because this is going to hide my vision. All right, so I want to be able to have my glove slightly below eye level. This way there, I can catch jabs, cover on the hooks, and it's in the proper position to do so. And the lead hand now is going to be slightly higher, but slightly in front as well from the side here. As you can see, the lead hand is not connected to my chin. It's going to be forward like this a little bit. All right, so this one's going to be a little bit dynamic where, of course, if it's starting from here, now it has a long way to travel to throw that jab out. So if it starts from here now, your jab is going to pop right from that position, the starting point. Now, the elbows. Always keep your elbows pointing below your wrists, below your gloves like this, okay? If your palms, if your palms are pointing out like this, that means the elbows are gonna slightly flare out in order for you to be in a comfortable position, and this is not the proper position. Turn your thumbs towards you, and now it's gonna facilitate having the elbows here because the elbows are also gonna serve to protect your body and deflect punches as well using the inner forearms like this. And now the guard, that's the basic on guard, is going to be right in the center here. So now it's easy to shift up or even shift down, but you're always going to return back to the center. Guys, these are just some fundamental tips and tricks to keep you into a proper boxing stance. If you're just starting out in boxing, these tips are going to help you out. Watch these. Try them out next time you're in front of the mirror or if you're doing some shadow boxing. Try to keep these pointers in mind. Go back and watch this video maybe a second time and maybe you'll be reminded a few tips you forgot. These are super critical guys because once you have this then you don't have to think about that stuff anymore and this is going to enable you that you're going to be able to learn the basic punches of boxing and eventually the basic footwork, the basic head movement as well as defensive techniques you need to have to be a great boxer. Guys, hope you enjoyed this content. Leave me a like. And also, if you're new here for more boxing content, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. I'll catch you guys in the next boxing tutorial. Take care.